the Donald L. Tucker Center, Tallahassee, Florida, as the Seminole 17th ranked welcome clubs. A couple of schools underway. Alamir Dawes, the freshman point guard, and here we go. Florida State and Forrest off to the races with a right hand. Top five conference power five teams in the week, and they come home for ACC play today. There's a step back three for Dawes. He's been around, has Mac two power five appearances before here at Alabama and Texas. MJ Walker misses a shot and streaking to the basket. There's Mac. Both these teams suffered a loss in their conference opener. Not a good pass for Walker. Dawes with speed into the front court, and that is good. Clemson. For Florida State, he's their leading scorer. Up top for Osborne off the window. He had his head down. He was dribbling as fast as he could. A bowl to the rack. Alamir Dawes. Amir Sims, the big man from downtown. Yeah, Point shot real well. He was four for 22 coming in, but that will make him feel good early in this one. Hearing the 16-minute mark, frenetic pace to this one, and there he is, Devin Vassell. Defense as well. Yeah, these are two teams that pride themselves on that. Sims sort of trapped in the lane. There's Newman, a top recruit, trying to come into his own corner, and that is a three for Dawes. He's shooting it early. That is a way that Florida State gets their engine going is through their defense. The cell three. Well, Clemson's doing a really good job of getting back. Floor balance really important in this one because you want to get back and set your defense. Defensive glass, that means you're really expecting your execution to be good against a very good defense. Yeah, you asked Brad Brunel about that as Dawes stays hot. He's made all four shots. He's already in, got 10 points. You mentioned that floor balance as they go inside to another big man, Kovica from Serbia, and he lays it in. Maybe asking for a little too much, but he cleans up the offensive board. Curran Scott for three. Well, his decision making, Dawes, has been fantastic. Corner three, no. Offensive board, polite. Forrest from the corner is good. The injury bug hit in the preparation for those World University games. Dawes, another good pass into the corner for Scott, and he finds it in the middle of the lane. I think it's fair to say that Dabo will have them ready for that playoff game. Corner three is good. Hunter Tyson. I mean, really well-designed attack of the full-court pressure. Right now, Clemson's getting whatever they want offensively. There's the three in the corner. They needed that from Malik Osborne. The line and in the passing lanes. Uh, what a recovery there by Koprovica. After Get to the paint and make a play for someone else. Yeah. So whether you go into the paint off the bounce or you do it from a back to the basket. The cell gives it away. Kayvon Moore. Play which we're going to bring and the way that we're going to be able to showcase our student athletes. But, uh, you know, it's it's really being able to do it in every phase. And that's what, that's what allowed us to have. In this part of the country are going to be watching and loving for a long time. A, a young as Walker pulls Florida State. Corner goes Amir Sims. Alamir Dawes. And wait. Two seconds. Sims. Three at the buzzer. Spark, they just could not score for the better part of six minutes, but Vassell sparked them. There's the super freshman for three. Patrick Williams. Oh. See the small lineup without it with an empty low block allows Florida State to really drive the gaps. They do. They find Walker. Moore. Came on Moore. From behind. He drops. The cell missed, but a putback. There is Williams to clean it up and give Florida State the lead. And, and it's not clear that MJ Walker has fully acclimated to the night in, night out demands and changing roles for him as Forrest, a little teardrop will fall. Nice slip by Sims. What a block! The cell! The cell in action. Tevin Mack has been very quiet. So has Newman until now. The byproducts of that is 
sort of spread out in the, the early months of the season. You get three games before New Year's Day in league. Wild action on the off the time. Tyson's known as a three-point shooter. He doesn't put it on the floor very often. Corner three for Polite. It's a shot. That's wide open in the post. And a good finish for Amir Sim. It's a great job by Sims to get to the rim. Two-point Seminole lead into the corner. That three is good. Vassell has done it all. Never forget the picture of him after the championship just sprinting around the <laughs> this court looking for somebody to hug. I think it's probably the, the arena at NC State. It's Reynolds Coliseum on, on Jim Valvano Arena and K. Yao Court. It's really remarkable to see both their names on that. Polite, a triple in the corner, and Florida State has shot the three exceedingly well in this half. Scott in some trouble. Mack in the corner. Boy, did anybody need a basket? It was Tevin Mack. 9-0, Jordan Wara, second in the league in scoring. 21, almost 22 points a game. He's shooting 46% from the three-point line. A light, a deep NBA three. The airport here in Tallahassee. And I can't blame you. Don't want to miss a minute of it. Second half with a small lineup, void of a seven-footer and a low-block player, and it really changed the tempo. And Smith has a building named after him. <laughs> it is Coach K Court. Coach K. Gray for three. Graduate. He's got a culture and a system here. And when you talk to him, as Tevin Mack hits a deep triple. See, Clemson was down to TCU with 7:39 to play and went on a 15-0 run. They were down by. 15 points. It's very similar to where they are right now. Everybody's got to go at some point through that kind of stretch. It's not easy. This league is demanding every game. There's Mac. Maybe a little. They got Carolina twice, Duke, and Louisville in a seven game span. But you go right now, you get three consecutive stops. Well, that doesn't help. MJ Walker late. Walker. It's a big mate. Jemison underneath, and how about the cell doing it all? Now they're doing a good job of managing with the lead. Cell three blocks on the game. Williams triple. Leonard just did get these guys minutes. Here he is with the ball in his hands, running the offense. He'll fire. He'll hit. <laughs> cue, man. I told you that kid was money. For the Seminoles coming up this week, Trent Forrest will graduate, go into a, a post-grad program. Leonard Hamilton has got it going on the floor and off, and his Seminoles will route Clemson 72-53. For Debbie Antonelli, I'm Will Fleming saying goodbye from Tallahassee.